Hi, this is Kelly from Petika Kelly and Play Learn Talk, and in today's tutorial I wanted to demonstrate how I use the fill in the blank text box for a game. Okay, so often when we use the fill in the blank feature, we designate an answer and then it is marked correct or incorrect. And when the answer is incorrect, the box will highlight red, and when it is correct, it highlights green. Now, in this particular game, which I've intended to be used in session, right? It's not something I want the teacher to assign for homework because it's a player game, right? I am going to use the fill in the blank feature and I'm going to mark it so that when someone hits submit, it doesn't give any negative feedback or positive feedback, it just submits the answer, okay? So when we do that, um, let's try it without anything written in, okay? So it says answer submitted. I didn't type anything in here at all, which is totally fine. Um, but if I type in names, let's just type in random letters, okay? The way I have it programmed is when I hit submit, it should still just say answer submitted, and it does. Now I'm going to show you a different page that has been programmed differently, and it's actually going to cause problems, okay? So if I type in the names here, actually let's do the same thing. So I don't type in anything, I hit submit, um, and it's going to say correct, okay? So it's giving me a accuracy feedback that I do not want because that's confusing, okay? But if I type in the names here like this, okay, it's going to say you have not found all the correct answers. So the reason it came up correct is because I didn't designate any answer within that box, okay, and the reason it's incorrect is for that same same very reason, okay, um, or very same reason. So let's go into the workstation and we'll actually see how it has been programmed differently. So when I click on all of these, okay, I can see over here in the fill in the blank properties that they are all marked as open response, and that is what we want because that gives you the, um, the user the option to grade it later, okay? So in the instructions on this game, I'm going to let the user know, hey, like you're not gonna be grading anything, right? But it is submitting that answer and allowing us to access that fill in the blank feature. Now on this page, this is the one that we do not want, when you click on each of them, um, you can see that nothing has been selected, okay? So in here it says type one answer here, so I haven't typed anything, okay, and I haven't made it an open response. Open response really means that the person needs to like grade it later, okay, and that's why it's not able to give a correct or incorrect response, okay. So if you are having that problem where, you know, for some reason there is a correct box or incorrect box, um, it's probably because you, you know, designated one way or the other. So I wanted to um, give it a, a little example here. Uh, let me get rid of these to show you something um, of how to use text. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put one text box here. Oh, not text, I'm sorry, the fill in the blank, the fill in the blank feature. Okay, so we are going to actually designate an answer. Okay, and let's make our answer, this answer is correct. Sorry, if you hear some background noise, it's my brand new kitten that's running around. I'm playing with a toy right now. Okay, so this answer is correct is what our answer is. So on this one, we are going to actually submit it, okay? And then we're gonna go see what happens, okay? So let's see what happens when we type in this. This is the incorrect answer. Oops. Okay, it says, oops, that's not the answer. So now we got the red feedback, okay? This answer is correct. That is the correct answer. And that corrects it for us, okay? Now let's see what happens when we hit um, uh, when we hit open response. Okay, what should happen is that it will have the answer submitted. So let's do the uh, incorrect answer. Okay, answer submitted. So it did not grade it for us. So the teacher is going to have to manually grade this if you're using it in a, a gradable activity. But if we do this is I'm sorry, this answer is correct, which we know is the correct answer. Hit submit we still don't get any feedback, and that is because we designate it as an open response, okay? So if you want it to not give that feedback, you need to make sure that open response is selected. If you are having a problem and not getting the feedback, it's probably because you have clicked open response. So I hope that was helpful for you. Um, please leave a comment below if that did help you, and be sure to share it with anyone who is experiencing this problem. I've actually had a few of you already mention uh, a similar problem, and I'm hoping this will be really um, helpful. Okay, so if you are interested in more helpful videos, I typically post daily around 1230 and I would love to have you join me in learning how to create uh, games online, specifically on boom cards. All right. Bye guys.